Hello and welcome to the introduction of HTML5. I'm your trainer, Dion Dreschus, and this is actually the very first course for education.org ever. HTML. It stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's a language to markup text to show and display text. It was invented by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. Let's go on a check. Tim at Wikipedia. Uh, this is the guy, he's a British uh, computer scientist, also a professor, and back in those days he was working at CERN in Switzerland. What did he do? He made a way to browse the internet. How did it work then before Tim made his invention? Um, if I had a computer in those days, if people had computers and they could connect to the internet, that made them basically very nerdish. They could make uh, use of protocols like FTP, File Transfer Protocol, uh, Telnet, SMTP, Small, sorry, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol to connect to Internet. They had to use a lot of difficult uh, commands to get their information. Tim Berners-Lee made it easy to browse the web, and the protocol responsible for that is HTTP. So let's see, I'm in a web browser now. And what invented was I can go to a website I want. This is now the very first website ever. Uh, coded in HTML. Well, HTML0 basically. <laughs> um, I can actually see it. Uh, a few page, page source, and this is. All in all the text marked up in HTML. So I can browse a web, I can go to a link, I can go to a, let's say the people involved in this project, I can read about it, and uh, here's Tim Berners Lee. I could go back, I could go to another um, site, so I can browse a web. Uh, what they basically did is later added pictures and uh, made forms and that basically the whole internet was booming afterwards. So HTML5. Uh, what is HTML5? It's still a hypertext markup language and it's 5 cents of course for version 5. More important, what is it not? It is not a programming language. I can't program a game in it. It's still a markup language. And it's also not an Adobe Flash alternative. If you're going to check the internet and you're going to see for HTML5 demos, you can see a lot of impressive um, animations, uh, sounds. Ooh, um, yeah, it isn't. HTML5. It makes use of HTML5, but also makes use of other protocols like CSS and JavaScript. The history of HTML. It started all in 1989. Then it was standardized uh, in 1995 by HTML 2.0 by the W3C. This is an organization and Tim Berners-Lee he is the uh, director of it, and it's a, um, it says here it's an international community that develops open standards um, to basically to ensure the World Wide Web will grow and evolve. So then came HTML 3.2 in January 97, 4.0 in December 97. Uh, then they moved a little bit away from HTML and they created XHTML. Um, with HTML, I could do, so you can do some do some coding and I could do it in a very sloppy way. Um, the browser will interpret and understand what I was coding and will display it anyway. Um, with XHTML stands for extensible HTML. They wanted to make it more clean coding, like um, the XML extensible markup language. If you did then do some sloppy coding, it will just generate an error. Then X 
HTML 2.0 wasn't backwards compatible, you still had to do the clean coding and it wasn't widely used. People were still coding an HTML instead of XHTML. So the Wadwick, it's an organization um, with op for founded from Opera, Opera Software, uh, Apple and Mozilla and they created their own HTML. And what the W3C said, okay, let's adopt the HTML and make it into a standardized HTML5. So HTML5 is now the way to go and you can forget about the XHTML. The future, um, it's not finalized yet. Some people say it will be finalized around 2022 or around 2015. It's not finalized yet. But it is standardized. But don't worry, you can just start coding HTML5. The major browsers are all supporting HTML5, so go ahead, code HTML5. This basically ends up our uh, video. And what we've seen is HTML, it stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's a markup language for text. We're now at version five. We saw a little bit of the history of it. We moved away from XHTML and the future. Um, what is going to? It's not standardized. Future of HTML5 is positive. It's not a flash uh, Adobe Flash alternative, but please start coding HTML5. It's lots and lots of fun. This was Dion Dashes for education.org and I want to thank you for staying smart.